So welcome to another exciting manifold building video. Today we're going to build uh, what I call the baby Evo manifold. It allows us to bolt the Evo T05 twin scroll turbo to the Mitsubishi 4G15 engine. We've got a pipe, we've got a jig, collector, and we've got a nice lovely flange there. So for this particular build we're using a CNC head flange. Um, and the main reason it's CNC is that it transitions from the the oval shape of the exhaust ports on the cylinder head to the round shape of the scheduled tube that we use um, from half inch thick 304 stainless steel probably just see there how the port tapers out so we're going to use a cast collector on this particular build um, collectors at the best time are a bit of an arsehole to make um, and the TDO5 twin scroll collectors are especially an arsehole to make so this is going to save us a lot of time in fabricating the collector um, downside is it probably costs twice as much as making one um, but we're going to be able to get straight in there and start making a manifold straight away without spending hours making this so um, sit cracking so the first thing to do is get all these polished and to do that I shall wave my magic stick Right, so next we're going to put the, the flange and the collector in the jig. Um, I'm going to give you uh, a little tip. Um, when you when you get around to actually doing and welding the primer, sometimes they shrink and they, you know, they, they move as you weld them. Um, and ultimately that can end up with your primer is being too short or not fitting back into the jig um, once you've welded them. So in the case of a jig like this, it's a, you know, it's a four bolt flange. Now, this particular TDO5 collector is set up to use an M10 bolt or an M10 stud, but we're not going to use that. We're going to use some M8 bolts. Um, and the reason is, is if you put a bolt, if you put a bolt in there like that, then when we put it in the G and we get the bolts through, what we can actually do is we can actually slide the collector backwards and forwards on that flange we can move it side to side um, so what I tend to do is I tend to set it slightly back maybe about two mil from its standard position uh, and by the time I've welded in my runners and we get a bit of shrinkage we bolt it back and you know, we slide it back down we bolt it back where it needs to be um, and then we can just remove a bit of material on both sides of the of the runner until we get a perfect fit um, and that's the way, um, it's the one way of dealing with shrinkage. So that's the collector and the flange bolt in the jig. We've moved the collector back to 3mm to account for any shrinkage that may happen. Um, and then obviously we've used tin foil in between to form a gasket. Um, so when we purge it, the gas doesn't piss out everywhere. So what we're going to do now is we're going to weld uh, all the runners. Uh, pretty simple, we're going to go from here to cylinder 4, there to cylinder 1, then cylinders 2 and 3 and we're going to go up and over into these ports here. That's cylinder 1 done, fairly simple, happy with that. Now I'm going to go on to cylinder one, here to here.
all tacked up. Happy with that. Now we're going to tackle these two into the middle ports. come out we've got uh, plenty of clearance in there to do the final welds to the collector so next we're gonna break all the runners off one by one attach a purge line weld them all up um, and then once they've all cooled down we'll uh, weld them back on So now we've got the runners broken off, we now need to attach a purge line before we weld them. So I'm just going to show you how I do it. Um, now there's many um, products in the market which will allow you to do this, specialist products etc. Um, you've got Tigger, Tigger Aesthetics purge plugs, um, uh, you've got street and strip, they do like a little butt plug type thing. Um, but none really uh, was suitable for what I wanted to use them for, so I had these. I designed these caps and had them made um, and dead simple, uh, single thumb screw onto the edge of the tube, lock it on, jobs are good un. four runners welded up now we're going to weld them back into the jig and um, we're going to weld them in sequence again so we're going to do cylinders four first followed by cylinders one and then we'll do cylinder three cylinder two let's get cracking yeah so uh, as predicted it has shrunk um, roughly about two millimeters uh, it's not nothing really and um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to unbolt the, the collector from the jig we're going to take those M8 bolts out and we're going to put M10s back in there and that will centralise this collector onto the jig and that will take up the, uh, the two mil gap that we've got now. using our M10 bolts um, and I'm not even kidding you this runner pretty much locked in place um, when we put it in there so we've got it tacked up we're going to attach a purge line to this port here there's no point doing this one because it's a separate chamber so we'll attach a purge line here and we'll purge it and we'll get this well done around here So uh, now we're going to attach our purge line so we can uh, purge it inside of this runner as we weld it onto the collector and for that we're going to use um, high purity silicon purge plugs uh, by a dude called uh, Brad Hamer, uh, TIG Aesthetics, uh, nice and simple, um, push it in the hole, get it in there nice and tight, plug it up, there we go. So that's the 
first runner welded on. We've got a nice fillet weld in there, nice and strong. Now I'm going to focus on the next one. That's the second one on, lovely jubbly. So next we're gonna put on cylinder three, which is from this port here to this port here in the collector. Uh, but before we do that, uh, we're gonna weld the tag on here, um, purely because when we put cylinder two on, uh, we ain't gonna get access around there to weld the tag on fully. So um, I, don't really, I, I don't really like doing that. I like putting the tag on last. Um, but in this case, you know, we've not really got an option, so I'm going to weld that on quickly. Beautiful, beautiful. After that, it's gone on nice. Now we're going to weld on cylinder three. There we are, that's the cylinder free in, all welded in, really happy with that. So that leaves us with the fourth and final runner, which is cylinder two. Uh, we're gonna just tack it in place for now. And then we're gonna weld the inside of the head flange first, bolt it to a soap bar, stick a purge line in, and finish that last weld round cylinder two and then we'll get onto the head flange welds and then it'll be done. Jig. So next we're going to weld the inside of the head flange. Now, we're really fucking happy with how these have come out. Minimal port work. Fantastic. So we're going to weld the inside of these ports up next. And then uh, we'll get it on the soap bar. So there we are, we've got all the inside of the ports all welded up. We've now got the manifold bolted to our soap and purge bar, we've got all purge ports in there. So we're gonna just tape this flange up with a bit of tape, finish off this final um, well to the collector and then once that once that's done we will then finish the final welds to the head flange and then it shall be nearly done. We've got all the the head flange welds done. 
what we've got to do now is wait for this to cool down and then uh, we can take it out there we can take it off the soap bar give it its final port and final finish then we can send it off to the customer all done really happy about it to come out it's probably the best manifold i've made to date um, if you've got a cult yourself um, and you're looking for some performance upgrades uh, we can build you this manifold we can build your manifold to suit the standard turbo um, or any other aftermarket turbo we do uh, dk down pipes for the standard turbo uh, we can actually also supply you a, a dk down pipe to suit the tdo5 baby evo manifold which is this one uh, we do brace kits uh, and braces uh, as well. Um, so yeah, if you uh, enjoyed watching this video, um, give us a like, give us a share, drop a comment down below, subscribe if you can be asked. Um, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.